Hi guys, it's Alexis. And Christian from Tiny House Expedition, and we're here with another Tiny Stuff product review. This past spring, we shared with you the most powerful portable power station we've ever tried. And now we're stoked to show you an even more powerful, tremendously powerful <laughs> power station, yeah. but maybe less portable. Yeah. Can you see where it is? Can you see it? <laughs> Meet Blue Eddie's EP500 Pro. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Isn't there music? It's supposed to be music. Jazz hands. <laughs> it has a groundbreaking 5,100 watt hour LFP battery pack and a 3,000 watt pure sine wave AC inverter. So if you're like me and numbers kind of go woo, sideways in your brain, <laughs> I'll give you a little bit of comparison. The Blue Eddie AC 300 Max that we reviewed this spring had 2,048 watt hours. So that's, you know, less than half less of this. And it could run our 20 foot tiny house on wheels for about one to two days uh, without being recharged. So just imagine what this bad boy could do. So where this is a power station, it is kind of semi portable. Movable. Movable. There we go, because it's on wheels, so it, it will move around any you know solid surface really easily. But it weighs 182 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so it's not as portable as it could be. But the whole idea behind this guy is it's more for backup power for an entire home, like our A-frame. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of the EP500 Pro and how we plan to use it. Like most other power station manufacturers, Blue Eddy offers a broad array of accessories for the EP500 Pro to expand its capability even further. But here's what's actually included in the box. So what you get is the EP500 Pro, of course, an AC charger cable, a PV charging cable, which is for solar, a user manual, a five-year warranty card, and a QC certificate. And it also includes lifetime customer support, which is no small thing That's if true. you ever have any problems. Yeah. When you unbox the EP500 Pro, don't be silly like us and panic because you think it didn't include the necessary cords and cables. Look inside of and underneath yeah, the foam pieces. For sure. <laughs> as far as shipping goes, this doesn't come standard UPS or FedEx. It actually came FedEx Freight. So that's a little bit of a different animal. So it came on the back of a truck on a pallet that somebody had to, you know, use a pallet jack to get off the truck. A couple top features of the EP500 Pro include its sexy look, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, this is like they've they've made this thing like the iPhone of power stations with the color and the smoothness and the Um it also has a super clear, easy to read touchscreen. Mhm. Mm uh, that's always nice and not included on every power station. But then the magic is really the ports. It has 17 versatile ports of all kinds. The DC outlets include two 15 watt wireless chargers, two 12 volt 10 amp DC ports, two 100 watt USB-C, and two 36 watt USB-A ports and a 12 volt 30 amp aviation port, which is a new thing for a lot of power stations. On the AC side, it has four 20 amp outlets and one 30 amp port. So the 30 amp port is not a standard 30 amp RV port. You re might remember that the Blue Eddy AC200 Max did have that port because that's what we plugged our tiny house into. Mm -hmm. So you can't do that here but there's workarounds, which we'll get into later. <laughs> yeah, but it is a thing called a NEMA L14-30, which is commonly used for electric dryers. So why it's on the EP500 Pro now is because you can use it in split phase. So what that means is you can connect two of these together mm. via this NEMA port and you get twice as much power, twice as much voltage, and twice as much amperage. As we mentioned earlier, the EP500 Pro can power our entire A-frame, and it can do it for a few days without needing to be recharged, which is absolutely fantastic as a backup power source. There are two primary ways to utilize the EP500 Pro in a house setting, 
and one of them is as a plug and play power station. So that's just how you would use any other power station. It can power an 8,000 BTU air conditioner for about a day and a half. And if you turn it off at night and use fans, you could really make that stretch. For a large power hungry fridge, you know, something that uses like 700 watts, this can run it for two and a half days. Now, when you have an apartment sized fridge like we do, which only uses, you know, I don't know, 400 watts max, this could last all week. So you get the idea of how helpful the EP500 Pro can be in a blackout as a plug and play power station. But to really get the maximum benefits that it offers, you wanna use it in a grid tie system. So to connect it to your house's electrical panel, first you're gonna to need to buy the $1,500 Blue Eddy smart home panel. And then you wanna hire a licensed electrician because the setup is a little bit complicated and it's gonna require some special equipment and some know-how so you don't hurt yourself. So once the EP500 Pro is integrated into your house's electrical system, this is where you get the most bang for your buck as an emergency backup source. And on a daily basis, you can lower your electric bills. So what that means when the demand is at its greatest on the electrical grid, you know, like 5.30 when people are home, cooking dinner or whatever, the power company is charging more for power. So you can set it up so that during that time, the EP500 Pro is powering all of your house or key components during that time, and therefore you're saving money. And this is all done through the time control UPS function of the EP500 Pro. And that's one of four UPS functions that you can use and even customize for your needs. So in the case of the EP500 Pro, when the power grid fails, a seamless UPS backup function will kick in and this will automatically become your home's power source. So to protect those critical devices like your computer and hard drives from any data loss or other damage. You can control the UPS modes and settings via the touch screen, but you can also do it via the app, which is really handy. So you just connect the EP500 Pro to the app via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And here you can manage all your functions and settings. You can see how much power is being used, your battery levels, everything. So I wish I could see right now how much power our A-frame was using, because that would be really interesting. However, I do know from the various appliances and devices we use in our house that it's not a lot. Because of that, I think we could use the EP500 Pro as our everyday primary power source. And if we really didn't want to sweat our power use, we could invest into two EP500 Pros and power maybe everything on our whole property. So as far as solar input, this thing's amazing because it can have 2,400 watts into the EP500 at once. And if you have two of these, that's 4,800 watts. So holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. That's a ton. Completely recharging this from zero can take around three and a half to five and a half hours, depending on the method or combination of methods. The most efficient is solar, which is great, followed by AC charging. But if you use them together, then you're really talking lightning fast speed. So if you max out the solar input of 2,400 watts plus 3,000 watts of AC charging, you can top this off from 80% in just an hour and a half. So as you know, we're taking a shuttle bus and turning it into our uh, kind of our work mobile. So because we travel so much, so we've used it several times, and as of now, it's very temporary. So all of this is going to change the kitchen, which this is just a sink. The kitchen is going to go on that side, and the booth is going to go on this side. So inside the kitchen is where I am going to put the EP500 Pro. It's going to go about where these seats are right here. And it honestly is going to be a great thing for our bus just because I've spent a lot of time looking into what it would take to run this whole bus on a solar system with batteries and all of that. And to make the whole system work, you have to buy things like the solar panels, a charge controller, uh, an inverter, and the batteries. And a whole myriad of other things, not including wiring and all of this. But just with batteries, batteries, like a LifePo battery, will cost you about a thousand bucks. Going with the EP500 Pro, 
so much of, I mean, the batteries are inside of it. It's already included inside of it. So it is making everything so much easier to install. So the only thing that's a little complicated now is connecting the EP500 Pro to our electrical system. So the first thing is getting two connections from the EP500 Pro to this. And this is basically a breaker box. So it's DC on one side and AC on the other. So we'll get two, a wire for each and then a distribution from here to all of our lights, our refrigerator, which is gonna be 12 volt. And then on the AC side, it'll be things like a few outlets. And I think I'm gonna put a home stereo system in here. So it's things like that that'll come from here. So one of the simpler things is actually connecting the solar panels that'll be on the roof to the EP500 Pro. So what that will be is this cord will come from the solar panels that are connected on the roof, come through the ceiling, this part will come down and in, into the roof, and then I will connect the MC4, which is on this side, to the aviation plug that plugs right into the PV on the EP500 Pro. So that is super simple. So we do want to be able to charge the power station via shore power. So I will make a connection on the outside of the bus to, to be able to do that. The 30 amp plug like we have on our tiny house is very different from the one, uh, the female that's on the power station. That is meant for a dryer or for connecting the two of power stations together to, to create a, a bigger system. So I will just use a regular um, 20 amp plug to plug that in and it will be conveniently located on the outside of the bus. So if we do pull up to an RV place that has a power pole, I could just plug it into the regular receptacle on that. So again, the EP500 Pro is about $5,500, which comes to around 97 cents per watt hour. And you can get accessories um, for this of all kinds. They're gonna cost you between $30 and $1,500, <laughs> depending on what you need. Mm. As you're considering what power station best meets your needs, there's a couple things to keep in mind with this. You know, some that we've already pointed out, like it's big. <laughs> it is big. And heavy. Uh huh. So 182 pounds. But if your breaker box is in the garage, all you have to do is get it shipped, dropped off at your garage, and just roll it around there. Possibly a con if you're in a small space, home. Mm -hmm. And basically that just means that you're gonna have to do some careful planning for your tiny house build or bus conversion mm -hmm. or, or van conversion or whatever you're doing. You're just gonna have to carefully plan for where this is gonna go. And also if you're going to do it in something mobile like we're doing with the bus, you have to either hire an electrician or know exactly what you're doing to tie it into the electrical system of the bus. Overall, we're really stoked about the EP500 Pro. We think it's an excellent large capacity power station that stands out on the market. It's an industry leader, and you could tell by all the great stuff we told you about. Mm -hmm. And despite the initial complication, it really is a convenient product. Yeah. Oh, and if you're a little unsure about making the, you know, significant financial investment, which totally get. Get that. It comes with a five-year warranty, which is unheard of in the power station market. Yeah. So if you want to learn more about the EP500 Pro, see the link in the description. And we want to know, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Is this something that would work for you? Yeah. Leave it in the comments below. We'll see you guys later. watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis. And I'm Christian. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more tiny home tours and stories, click the videos below. And join us on Instagram for bonus content. Including face-to-face -face conversations with us. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you there. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.